Hi everyone and uh, welcome to uh, this little short presentation and today we are going to be talking about poetry. So let's get right into it shall we? And so poetry a quick guide. I will here go through a couple of different things when it comes to poetry, writing your own, maybe looking at it a little bit, short analysis, but mainly just for you guys to get a grip with what is going on and how it works or how it could work. So, we are doing this uh, to be able to analyze living conditions, attitudes, values and traditions, social issues, as well as cultural, historical, political and cultural conditions in different contexts and parts of the world where English is used. And we are going to look at contemporary and older literature, poetry, drama and songs. This is basically from the Swedish curriculum, uh, so the core content and stuff that we need to look at in an educational setting. So, when we're done with this part, let's move on. And we are jumping straight into a haiku, or which is a very famous version uh, or type of poem. And it is usually a three-line observation about a fleeting moment and often related to nature. It is usually non-rhyming, uh, has an emphasis on imagery, uh, no superfluous words, and it follows a 575 syllable pattern. And in this case, that means that in the first line of the three, as we can see here, there should be five syllables in that line. The second one should have seven, and the final one should also have five. And here is an example. Sweeping oceans blue, raging, terrifyingly, separating all. Count the syllables and see if you can figure it out. Over to the next one. Which is a limerick. And these uh, are often humorous or rude. Uh, and they consist of five lines. Uh, and they follow a... Um, a structure of A, A, B, B, A, and they are usually written with an anapestic meter, which is something that you'll find and hear a lot about when you study literature and when you look into that kind of analysis. But to give you a quick little rundown of how it can look. Uh, the class thoroughly detested the poetical. Rather would they focus on the comical. With humor, one can be king, so let freedom ring, and let this poetic misery be our final. Let's just swap me around so we can see the entire screens from now on, shall we? I uh, can put me up here. Hello. Good. So, that's a limerick for you. Over to the next one. Which can be free verse, which follows no regular rhythm, no rhyming scheme, and is based on normal pauses compared to artificial that we've seen before. And what I mean with that is that if we scroll back and we look at this one, the limerick, and just look at the example, the class thoroughly detested the poetical. Rather, would they focus on the comical? With humor, one can be king, so let freedom ring and let this poetic misery be our final. We've created pauses to follow the lines of AABBA here. It's even more clear if we scroll back one more step to the haiku. Sweeping oceans blue, raging, terrifyingly, separating all. When you write a regular sentence or just a story, or in free verse in this case, you don't usually use these kind of weird breaks. Sweeping oceans blue, there shouldn't be a break there, really. But in a haiku it can be, because we're following another rule. So, that's important for you to highlight. Let's keep on going, shall we? So that's limerick, and then down to the free verse. And there, here I've written, and here's an example uh, that we can look at. Deep below wooden hulls of terror resides my fearful fellow man, bound by chains, stricken by horror, led to dreaded future without hope. Not one can escape the fright deep below wooden hulls of terror. 
So you might recognize some stylistic things here, but that's not the focus here. It's just to show that we can use some repetition and we have some rhyme with terror and horror. Um, but this is free verse, basically. It's I. It's written in a way it doesn't follow any like particular rules. There's just different things to make it stand out and where we're trying to communicate something. Um, but let's go on. We have some more, I think. Something called an American Sinkan. And for those of you who understand a little bit maybe of French and more those kind of languages, would probably think that sink can mean something by five. And yes, it is something with five. It has five lines and is also defined by syllables as well. And it follows a two, four, six, eight, two schedule. So let's see how that can look. Freedom, the slavery bonds, tormented, mistreated, no emancipation today, freedom. Two syllables, four syllables, six syllables, eight syllables, back to two. That's how it works. Let's go on. And let's move me again. Wait one second. Whoop. And some rhetorical devices uh, that might be useful for you to know when you're looking into poetry and when you're going to write your own stuff is something called an anaphora is repeating the first part of the sentence. We have something called alliteration, which is a series of words that begin with the same consonant sound, like k, s, t, those kind of sounds. And then we have rhyme, the repetition of the same sound in the final syllables. And finally, the recycling uh, or repetition, where you reuse different kinds of phrases. Some of these might be familiar to you, some of them might not be, but here they are for you. So now I'm going to give you guys a task here. On the theme of life during COVID, write your own poems. One of each specific style that we've just gone through. And as I usually like to say, and what I want you guys to start thinking about, start by creating a mind map or a semantic map, if you will, uh, to gather your thoughts so you know in what direction you are going. Let's carry on, shall we? And here you will now see a lot of different, all the different examples that we have. So let's uh, remove me again. A little bit and there we are moving me up 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 and like that and you can see we have the haiku uh, that I had in the beginning we have the American Sinkan we have the free verse and we have the limerick over here so I'm just gonna let you freeze right here I will hide myself from your view and will now is let you pause it right here so you can, can look through these different versions. And remember, write one of each on the subject of life during COVID. Good luck. <laughs> 